high-grade endometrial cancer is sort of the atypical version of endometrial cancer. Um, endometrial cancer has doubled in, uh, in incidence in the United States in the last 20 years. The reason for that is the obesity epidemic by and large, uh, but most of those people are cured. Um, it's the people with the high-grade or so-called type 2 endometrial cancers that require something other than surgery and have a much higher relapse rate. So even though it's 5% of people being diagnosed, it accounts for more than half of people that die from endometrial cancer. And so it seems to be um, shifted in the minority and uh, uh, non-classic populations. Um, for example, uh, black women are more at risk for fibroids. Uh, they're also more at risk for some of these type 2 or high-grade endometrial cancers. And so it's looking at the different um, uh, health disparities, and, and you would think if there's a hundred people that have the same diagnosis, they would be treated the same way with one of these uh, more aggressive type of tumors, uh, but that's not the case. And so there are certain uh, ethnic groups, for example, or, or race groups uh, that um, that tend to have, be undertreated for some reason or another. And sometimes it's related to their insurance status. Um, sometimes it's related to a different philosophy. Um, but that, that's what we were trying to drill down into.